It's hard to say what is the most anticipated artist appearing at this year's Video Music Awards, but it's quite possible that it is the return of Hole. Certainly, Courtney Love has provided mem many memories in Video Music Award history. Back in 1993, she and Kurt Cobain showed up with a then very young Francis Bean in tow. A couple years later, Hole performed Violet on the show, and there was that infamous compact throwing incident with Madonna. And I'm sure Courtney and the band will provide more memories on stage tonight. In the meantime, they're back with a great new record. I sat down with them recently to talk about that and more. Check it out. What we did and what our goal is, let's take what we have, our attitude, the thing, the thing, Hole, the thing, and let's write a record. Oh, make me over. I'm all I want to be A record for everybody I walk and study. Not for an elite core of like snotty kids that went to college Cause he, you know what, I'm white trash, I didn't go to college In I'd rather sit with, you know, Marilyn and Twiggy and know that we came from trailers <laughs> You know, it's like fine Just when you thought there were no rock stars left, along comes Hole Courtney Love and the band are back after a too long four and a half year wait with Celebrity Skin, an album that finds them embracing a refreshing pop sound. Still, not all is bright, as one band member is missing. I would be silly to ignore the fact I'm sitting here with three people today and not four. Can you guys tell me what's going on with Patty and the, or, or the drummer situation in general? She's, she's off dealing with some problems, you know, she's off dealing with some health problems. The so-called health problems that have befallen Hole drummer Patty Schemmel have been widely reported to be drug-related. The band's management denies this, but admits her future with the group is, quote, undetermined. All this for a band whose last album, 1994's widely acclaimed Live Through This, was accompanied by the tragic deaths of Kurt Cobain and bassist Kristen Pfaff. There were times when another Hole record looked doubtful. In fact, the band at least attempted to write material in four different cities. New Orleans, Memphis, New York, and Los Angeles. Finally, when we got here in L.A., that's when it really started flowing. We took all those little seeds, and it just that's when we started using the California Muse, and all of a sudden, it started coming together. And then, Which was yeah. basically, I said, you know, we sat down and went, I know. You know how, you know, let's tie this together with a concept, even if it's fake, even just if for it's directional a conceit, purposes. Just for directional purposes. What's a great American tradition? What's something transgender? that we can all relate to, that we can follow. Okay, the tradition of writing about Los Angeles, writing about California, mm -hmm. as a metaphor for the American dream, as a metaphor for all of our collective experience, as a metaphor for all these things. Malibu is one of five songs on the album that Hole co-wrote with Billy Corgan. A recent back and forth in the media has raised the question of just how much credit Corgan deserves and how much credit is being denied one of Courtney's bandmates. Make your stand. I'm so to, sick of speaking up to, for you. To. Just do it. I don't want to do it for you. Please. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know what I did, and I, and I, and I know what I've done on the, But if you don't say anything else, like, anybody going to know? But, get but, your but, rifle but, out and say, get off my land or I'm going to kill you. But, just do it. But the initial reaction is always right going to be Look. towards, you know, the just outside do it. forces coming in. Just please, stick up for yourself. <laughs> just stick up for yourself once. Just please. Because well, I, I don't have it. to. Still, Love admits Corgan did provide an important motivational role. Did you need that, though? Did you need to be pushed? Oh, yes. I was in a real slump. You know, I was in a real slump with these guys, and I was in a slump in my personal life. And I mean, yeah, I remember my personal life is like, this, you know, everyone knows more about that than anything else, probably. But, um, or maybe I'm assuming too much. But, you know, I had all these nasty habits I had to deal with, and all these people that left the planet and went to other places, and all this stuff. So it was a big journey. So this band with punk roots that has lived through plenty has re-emerged with a refined, polished sound and an understanding of just how special pop music can be. If you learn to write a song, there's nothing anyone can say to you about anything. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. that's, the, that's the thing that's spilling out of the Camaro on a summer night. That's sure. the thing that people are fighting to. And to and feeling great too and everything and it's the best thing in the world.